Have you met as a member of the Congressional Black Caucus with the President? Yes, we have. And what were some of the um, outlines that were set for our community? Has there been anything, a specific agenda for our community that's been pledged to us? I think that the main issues that we advocate for as the Congressional Black Caucus is really embedded in just about every single piece of legislation that we have done. There's nothing in, in legislation that's going to say this is specifically for black people um, because we're dealing with a nation of people from uh, all ethnicities, all backgrounds. But what we have done as a Congressional Black Caucus is make sure that the very specific needs to our constituencies are part of all of the legislation that comes out from health care to education to the stimulus package we have been very focused on embedding in that opportunities and uh, the nuances that impact on communities of color most of all uh, we've used uh, various methods whether it's um, income to be able to capture a lot of our communities in various pieces of legislation whether it's census tracts which looks at those who were disadvantaged and those who were struggling in the community, which is not a piece of legislation that has come out thus far that has not had, uh, uh, have not adopted the Congressional Black Caucus's leadership legislation pack, and we're very proud of that. Well, Amon, I would like for you to give us an example, but every other, sure, every, like every, every, every other group, for example, were made promises during the election. And what can we say specifically for our vote that we're getting to say there's a benefit for having a, a president of color? What can we take back to our people that watch, that Facebook, Twitter, everything else, that the president said this is what he's going to do for us? Of course, every other ethnic group will turn around and say this is what we want. What do we have? Like I said, I mean, I think that, you know, if you take a look, an in-depth look at all of the legislation that we've passed from Higher Education Act, which has bolstered the funding for historically black colleges with the expansion of Pell Grants for education, Perkins Loans for education, loan forgiveness for, or for those who serve in urban areas, um, it's very clear that this legislation is focused on the upliftment of people of color, of black folks in our communities. When you look at health care reform, embedded in that is closing the disparity gap in the access to health care, uh, the access to insurance. Um, all of that has uh, black communities, black families in mind. When you look at um, just about every single piece of legislation that we pass from the green jobs bill on down, you will see that they're embedded in there are uh, the ability to access capital for women and minority owned business which tend to be the employers of black folks in our communities. So there's a real um, conscious effort made to embrace the values and concerns that have been part of the electorate coming out of the black community to President Obama and that is coming out in the legislation that is being that is be, that is coming out of the house and the senate as we speak